Well, the worst is over. Yeah, you had to say it. Hey everyone, and welcome back to FF7. We're here in Wall Market, and we're wearing a dress because we are Miss Cloud. Let's head up to Don Corneo's mansion, shall we? Nothing bad's gonna happen there. I did actually have a look online because we're in the dress, there's no going back. Apparently I missed a whole bunch of things. Forgetting the special events. I'll go into that later. But um, yeah, I've got the wrong dress for one thing. There's like three other things we need to get. We can get makeup in the honeybee room and a tiara from that vending machine that I forgot about. So that's fine. Maybe next time. Damn, your friend's hot too! Come in, come in! Two ladies coming through. I mean, that's totally not the guy that you saw like five minutes ago. It's probably at least ten minutes. Hey ladies! I'll go and let the Dawn know you're here. Wait here, don't wander around. Now's our chance. Let's find Tifa. Can we steal anything? Nope. I wonder where she is. Actually, is there anything behind here? No. Oh, is Aerith following us? Looks like she is. Cool. Hello. Closed. Office of Don Corneo. Keep out. Okay. Guess we'll go down these improbably long stairs and not ask what's going on down here. See if, uh, they're shy. Shy cloud. Fair enough, I suppose. Unless Tifa likes that kind of thing. Looks like Aerith does. Tifa? Nice to meet you. I'm Aerith. Cloud's told me a lot about you. Wait, what? Were you the one who Cloud was with in the park? Right, with Cloud. Ew. Oh, don't worry. We just met. It's nothing. And yet, we trust her. And she trusts us. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Me and Cloud are just... Don't misunderstand. We grew up together. Nothing more. Poor Cloud, having us stand around listening to, uh, to both us call him nothing. Right, Cloud? Cloud? What are you doing? What are you wearing, Cloud? Whoa! Cloud? Why are you dressed like that? What are you doing here? What time zone is this? Actually, never mind about that. What happened to you after the fall? Were you hurt? Slow down. Let me answer. There's no way to get in here without busting in, so uh, this seemed like a better plan. But yeah, it was alright. Aerith helped me out. Oh, Aerith did. Tifa, what are you doing here? That's a good question. Yeah, um... <clears throat> I'll just plug my ears, shall I? I'm gonna steal this ether. Why is there ether down here? Oh god, as if this place wasn't rapey enough already. Please go on with your private conversation. Sure. I'm glad you're okay. Ditto. What happened? When we got back from the reactor, a suspicious man was hanging around. So Barrett caught him and squeezed some information out of him. That's when the Don's name popped up. That's not all, right? Right, Don Corneo. Barrett told me to leave the lech alone. But something's been bothering me. What if they know where our hideout is? That's why you keep Marlene on the bar, right? I see. You want to find out what Don Corneo knows about Avalanche. Yeah, and I made it here, but now I'm stuck. Corneo is looking for a bride. Every day he, every day he chooses three girls. Chooses one of them, and then, well... Anyway, to reach him, I'll have to be the, picked as the girl for tonight. <laughs> Sorry, but I overheard. Of course you did. Well, at least now it doesn't matter who he picks, right? I guess so, but... Whoever gets picked, grills the dawn for the information you need. No, Aerith, this is too dangerous. Oh, but it's not too dangerous for Tifa. Oh, you just walked into it there, bro. No, I don't want Tifa. Are you sure about this, Aerith? I've just met you. I grew up in the slums, I can handle it. Do you trust me? Yes, I think I do. Thanks, Ms. Aerith. Just call me Aerith. Hey! Hey! It's 
time, ladies. The dawn is waiting. I told you not to wander around that tell ya women nowadays. Hurry up, will ya? I guess I don't need to ask, but the other girl is me, right? You're right, you didn't need to ask. Hee hee, hee hee. They're gonna get suspicious if we don't hurry. Haha, -ha, you know, you look pretty good. I wonder what Barrett would say if he saw you now. Uh, I imagine it would sound something like Yeah, so, um, I think we've got it wrong if we want Don Corneo to pick us. Wait, what have you got to say? The Don's waiting in his room. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Going into the room! Ha ha! So you need, like, seven things. The correct dress, the correct wig, etc, etc, to get Don to pick you. Coach! Alright, ladies. Line up in front of the Don. Dirty. I like that rug. Oh, this guy. Mmm, good, splendid. Delicious it is. I don't know why he's Yoda. Should have come up with a voice for him beforehand, but this is what we've got. Now, let's see which girl true should I? <laughs> this one? Or this one? Yeah, I'm losing the Yoda voice as well. I made up my mind. It's not really Yoda, is it? My choice for tonight is... This slender little girl. Creepy. Dawn, you've got great taste. You can have the rest. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Here we go, my pretty. <laughs> It's more like Gollum. Oh my god, if Gollum and Yoda had a baby. I mean, that would be incredible on more than one level. Horrifying too, on the same levels. Scott, hey guys, we got a guest. We'll take real good care of you. This is all thanks to the big boss, Don Cordio. Well, miss, are we all, uh, ready? Uh-oh. They're coming! Whoa, slow down, what's the hurry? When you stick around, we'll treat you real nice. No! Bad touch! Oh, I see an item over there. Phoenix down, okay. Oh, your eyes, they seem to glow, I'm all yours, baby. Your TV's really interesting. Do you want to play video games? Or Scrabble? Or is that match on? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. Ooh, I got ants in my pants. Want to do a dance to get you? Ugh, go and take a chance. Maybe find some romance. <laughs> Yoda, find romance. Uh, you're in pretty good shape. Look at your tight little bod. It's more like muscles. Yeah, so not the only thing that's tight, I imagine, on Cloud. Let's not talk about that anymore. Come on, dance would be beautiful. They say if two people dance together, their hearts become one. Is that a really good line or an absolutely terrible one? What's wrong? You want me to keep you company? I'm flattered, but no thanks. Because. 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 I ain't interested in a bunch of scrubs like you. Zing. A man? God damn it. Don't think you'll get out of this. Get him. Beat the shit out of him. Uh, what a game. Right, I really hope these guys don't kick my ass. Do I have, uh... No. Right, let's just go with attacking. Oh! Okay, they die super easy. Uh, let's see if we can morph one of these guys. Probably not. Corneo's lackey B. Oh, I don't have a steel equipped on him. That would have been handy. Pretty sure that anything I do is gonna kill them immediately. Yeah. Well, I kind of want to save my limit break now. I bet someone's going to be pretty tough. Uh, fire. I don't know what base 12 means. I wish I knew that. Okay. 
Well, I really didn't need to use my MP there, but that's fine. We learned people die to fire and electricity, apparently. And we've got some gill. Grr, come on, what's the matter with you good for nothings? Alright, come on, I'll show you how it's done. Yeah. Alright, let's smack up the guy at the back. These guys are all gonna die in one, aren't they? Let's see how much I morph them for. It'll probably take about a million years, but it could be fun. Eh, 19. Okay, well, I'll do that then. Nice crit. Morphed into Eggs Potion. Okay, that's kind of worth it. That only took, like, seven strikes. What does Eggs Potion do? I think it clears everything I've got. Fully restores HP. Okay, well, still good. Pretty sure we don't need to fight anyone else before we get... Actually, no, we're going to get Tifa back. We're not going to get Aerith back. She's got the Materia anyway, so I can't get Steel. Never mind. Right, I think it's time to escape. Let's run away. <laughs> no, it's locked. Oh, well. I guess we'll go and save Tifa. Cloud! Oh, she saved herself. Hey, good for you! Tifa! You alright? Of course. If you take me lightly, you're going to pay for it. I kind of want to see what she did to this guy. I mean, we just killed six people. Oh, hello. Did she kick you in the crotch? Come on, just once, I won't tell, I promise. All my life, I just want to hold hands with a cute girl. Just once. Well, don't work for Rapey McRapeface. Right, what have you got? I don't think anything, no. Uh, I'll give you Death Blow and Revive. Yes, I suppose you should have cover. Just because they're there and metal knuckle. So damage up, attack percentage down a bit, but that's okay. Should we give her the Choco bracelet? Could be fun. Sure, why not? And uh, reflect ring. No. Which means we need to. Oh, right, let's go for force loss. It's fine. Good. I thought we'd have to re equip her materia. Hello? Housekeeping. Come, come, don't be so shy. That's not Yoda. Whose voice is that? That's from something. I just can't remember what. It, yes. But, Mr. Don, I'd like to explain. I'd like you to explain something to me first. Of course, my dear. I'll take you for it slowly, step by step. Yes, come on, sir. <laughs> Dirty fucker. No, that's not what I meant. No, stop. Just wait a second. Come, come! <laughs> I can't wait any longer. Here comes Papa! Cloud. <laughs> what the hell? Goes there? Who does? Sorry, Don. What? I say, I like the red dress. Shut up, we're asking the questions now. What does your goons find out? Talk if you don't tell us. I'll chop it off. <laughs> no, not yet. I'll talk and tell you everything. So talk. I made him find out where the man with the gun arm was. But that's what I was ordered to do, yes? By who? No. Be killed if I told you that I'd be. Talk if you don't tell us. I'll rip it off. Yeah. Ah, Heidegger of Shinra it was. Heidegger, the head of security, snarf snarf. The Peace Preservation Department. All the Shinra's forces report to him. The voice is really good. I don't know who I'm doing anymore. Peace Preservation? So he's like a general or something. What did you say the Shinra? What are they talking to? What are they up to? Talk. What are they talking to? He don't tell us. They'll smash it. You're serious, aren't you? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Not fooling around here either, am I? You know? 
Shinra wants to crush a small rebel group, Avalanche they are called, and wants to locate their hideout. And they really are going to crush them, literally, by breaking the supports holding the plate above their hideout sector! I'm just an actor, not a snuff snuff. Break the supports? <laughs> My men find out that Avalanche will hold up in Sector 7 slums. Be glad it was in Sector 6 I am. Being flattened is bad for business. Yeah, especially your business. God damn, don't want to go flat. We're gonna wipe out the Sector 7 slums? Cloud would come with me to Sector 7. Not. Of course, Tifa. We're not gonna go yet. We need to pick up. Oh, a tranquilizer. That's an odd change. It always used to be a hyper. For one reason or another. John Corneo? A second just. Shut up. No, only a second take, will it? Why do you think I told you all the truth just now? Uh, because you're sure you'll win. <laughs> That's right. All right, that is. Groovy, groovy, Don Corneo. Oh, I forgot about this cutscene. I remember where we were going, but I forgot this part was a bit. I guess I'll do Brian Blessed for hiding here. That was his voice. How are the preparations going? He's salt spire, that's what that voice is. <laughs> smoothly, very smoothly. I signed the text with this. Mr. Pr oh. should, I, should I? Should I do Keanu? Mr. President, are we really going ahead with this? I can't do a Keanu either. But I can't do any voice. What's the problem, Nareev? You want out? No, but there must be another way. If you give me some time, I can... There is no more time! According to the output, uh, the output forecast, the maker below us is running dry. I understand. Can we cut maker consumption in other ways? Dude, if we slowly wind back and rely on maker, then Midgar can survive. We'll replace the reactors. If we can drop the plates, Midgar will be able to last a few more years. We'll also eliminate Avalanche and have an excuse to increase the rates to tackle this tragedy. Reeve, just plush those personal problems in the morning. Mayor's against this too. Mayor? Mayor? He sits all day in his... Oh. <clears throat> he just sits in his building all day, reading books and stuffing his face. You still call that a mayor? I'll go and give the order! If you excuse me, sir! <laughs> no way, dude! I'm gonna have to practice these voices. You're tired, why don't you take a couple of days off and go somewhere? Evil laugh, evil laugh. We'll drop the plate and report that Avalanche did it. Then we'll bring in the Ancient and restart the new Midgar plan. It's perfect. Too perfect. Hey, a save point. Was that always there? I don't remember. Well, let's go and save. And we get to access... We get to access their materia. Hurrah! So, in fact, I should do that first. Ah, smarts. Right, uh, we've got HP Absorb. I don't think we have the right HP to absorb for this next boss. I'm pretty sure it's poison and water. So, restore all, that's the main one. Barrier, lightning, cover, fire, morph. Yeah, I think we'll stick to that loadout. Okay, ladies. You're all okay, even though you're in a sewer with, you know, not tight fitting treasures. You alright? I mean, Tifa's legs are bound to be sludgy. Man, this is terrible. And the Aerith's got a dress on, which is open in the bottom, so. I mean, you know, for her. Ugh, God. This just sounds bad, no matter what I say. It's gonna be sludgy, so I'm getting to. Cloud's gonna be messed up too, his arms are bare. Yeah, you're fine. Well, the worst is over. Eh, you had to say it. Maybe not. Yeah, boss time, baby! 
Ah, oh, this guy. What a dick. Eps. Uh, bolt, I guess? 2700. Weak against fire. Okay, good. What can we steal from him, then? Sewer Tsunami! Oh, that heals him. Oh, shit, that really fucks us up. Um, okay. Oh, shit. Um, okay, nothing to steal. That's okay, then. I... No, no, Cloud's got my... For some reason, I thought Aerith had more, but she's restoring HP with her attacks, so... That would be kind of dumb. Lick. You're not a doggo. And that's a very slow attack. What the fuck is that doing? Uh, life? Oh man, you don't have any actual magic attacks. Right, let's try this out. 59. Oh, that's pretty weak, actually. I guess that'll be useful for topping up. But not as a primary heal sort of thing. I might have misplayed this. So I should have given Tifa a bolt. If Cloud's just going to be using fire. Does that mean that Aerith has... yeah, she's got ice. Oops. Accidental pause. Right, so that's not a lot of damage. It might be better just to save her MPs for uh, using actual cure material. That'll be enough to counteract the poison beast. Oh, no. I keep, like, instinctively, it's like, I want to use the magic, but we ain't got none. She's actually doing really well with her attack accuracy. Right, I think we'll be able to morph this guy. Oh, he just healed himself. What a dick. Oh, I bet you'll do that. I'll get him to, like, 4 HP. And then he'll do a Sur Tsunami. Right, this might kill him. Oh. No, it didn't. Okay. Uh, right, we're lucky. This death blow will get him down to about 50 HP. Oh, and he's paralyzed. Nice. That was actually really well timed. Her. What's Tifa's? Oh yeah, Tifa has a self revive. Once a combat doesn't shoot. Oh, that's nasty. As long as I don't put Cloud on defense. Right, I think we're gonna get this guy. Hmm. I don't know. I think maybe. Having Aerith just doing that small, low tier healing just consistently is going to be useful. Yay! Morphed. Morphed into Dragon Scales. That sounds like a usable item rather than a like a bit of equipment. Seal Evil Desire, Devised, rather. I don't know what that does. I guess it casts silence on enemies. It's too late, Marlene Barrett, the people of the slums. Don't give up. Never give up hope. It's not easy to destroy the pillar, right? Yeah, you're right. We still have time. But first, shug a po Oh, we got fully healed. Nice. Uh, dragon scales. Damage 3200 water damage. That could be handy. Right, uh, before I forget. So, I think just have you using cure. And, um, thing of me. Cure and using your staff is going to do for you. Oh, that's kind of a waste because you do lots of extra damage because you've got high spirit. So, god damn it. Right, let's do it like this. Do absorb fire just because we can. Keep barrier. You've got ice. You. Have lightning. 
and Steel can afford to go to her, because you only need to send a couple of times in the combat, whereas you might need Steel several times. Right? That makes sense? Oh, that's Materia. So this is usually Steel in the base game. It's Steel now. Okay. Uh, who has a spare slot? Just you, who already has it. <laughs> uh, you could... Yeah, okay. Like, an extra Steel is bound to be good. Right, and we don't get any AP for enemy away. Quite the opposite, in fact. Let's jump down. Oh man, this place looks nice. I mean, it's a sewer, but it's higher resolution than it's ever been before. That's a ladder. Okay. That was me just saying, it looks amazing. Can't tell there's a ladder there. But there is a save point. This place brings back memories. Aerith, I got you mixed up in this. Don't tell me to go home. This place is a mess. We'll need to climb over and through the trains to get out of here. But first, we need to have the magical save. You know what? I think I might just start saving in the top three slots. Just for the sake of brevity. High potion. Uh, is there any reason to go down into that train? I don't think there is, but... Might as well check it out. Don't want to miss something. Especially because new fret changes where things are and what things do. Aha! High potion! Can I see that on the ground? I don't know. What have we got? Got ghostesses with the mostesses. Let's see what they are. Echo drops. I don't know what they do. Drain. Oh no. Is this the one that drains MP? No, HP. That's fine. Ooh, right, okay. Ghost hand. That was not worth it. Turns out trying to morph an enemy that can heal itself is a pain in the ass. More than heal itself, it fucking steals your health. Terrible. Right, um, no, 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 it's fine, thank you. What exactly is a ghost hand? I remember it being rubbish, but... Uh, 512 drains MP. Okay, maybe not totally useless, but... Pretty much. I guess maybe some of these items are going to be particularly useful in some contexts. Let's see if there's, uh, like, a potion over here or something. Dream powder. Okay. They're hidden in the barrels. So I couldn't have seen that high potion, for fuck's sake. Right, what's this guy become? Gravity ball. Also not very useful. Gravity attack item, I'm guessing? Oh well, at least once we've morphed enemies once, we know whether we need to bother doing it again. Can we not get down there? Okay. Uh, shit, have I gone the wrong way? There's stuff in that train. Can't go up north. Can't go... Oh, God, I... How many times have I done this as a kid? Oh, right. Okay. No, that doesn't help us. Oh, I see, we go down and around. Doy. Remedy. Well, that was kind of useful. I don't know what the AI was supposed to be doing there, but it was only attacking Cloud. It wasn't even attempting anything on the others. Right, uh, let's carry on then. Come on, let me in. Ether. Come on. There we go. He seemed to exit that ladder when he was already fully off it, but never mind. Well, in you go. It's kind of hesitant to get on and off these trains. I guess I wouldn't want to spend too much time on them either. Oh, there's something in the bottom left. Don't want to miss that. I don't understand why some items are like this and... I mean, I know why they look like that instead of the regular, but I don't understand why some are like that and some are, like, bad. Let's GTFO! God, 
everything so, hits so hard in this mod. Come on. There's nothing in Ah, there we go. Oh, for fuck's sake! Maybe I should just equip the enemy away material. It's goddamn, son. Right, I think. Uh, no, I don't need to do that. I need to get into this locomotive. Right. Except there's an item over there. Oh, I can get in behind the train. So I move this train back towards. Climb up, get the item, jump across. Yay! Ah, the memories. Oh, you idiot. I remember doing that as well. I can't believe it's such a dangerous place. They're right next to the actual train station. Like, these are seasoned. Well, maybe not Aerith. Definitely Cloud and Tifa are seasoned warriors. I mean, they are, like, not going to be typical of the people who might be around this place. Like, what about the train conductor? He was an old man. Hey, speaking of which, can we get on? I want to get out of here. I heard a rumor that the plate above was going to fall. Whether that's true or not, I'll be staying right here. Been here too long to leave it. Well, the pair of lovers have gone, so that's possibly good. Hey everyone! We made it! The pillar's still standing! Wait, you hear something above us? Gunfire? Pew pew! Pew pew! Wedge, you all right? Well, no, clearly not. Cloud, you remembered my name and that I'm Roly Poly. Barrett's up top. Help him. Oh, sorry. And Cloud, I'm sorry, I wasn't any help. I'm going up. Aerith, you look after Wedge. Aerith, do me a favor. I have a bar called Seventh Heaven in this neighborhood. There's a little girl called Marlene there. Don't worry, I'll get her somewhere safe. It's dangerous here. Everyone get away from the pillar, quickly! Everyone else, get out of sector seven. Oh, everyone just get out of sector seven. Is there anything done here? No. Cloud, we have to protect the pillar. Erg, erg. Don't worry, you let me handle this, okay? Oh, look, this is my job. I have to be here until the absolute last minute. Mm, I love men with a sense of duty. Let me stay here with you. Okay. Uh oh, there goes the pillar. The yeah, energy supplies. If you can stop them, then. Then what? Then nothing. Uh, let's purchase a tent, because it's good to have. Tranquilizer, hyper. None of that's super useful. Do we have anything to sell? Not really. Nothing that can't wait. If things get too hairy, we'll escape. This isn't something you get to see every day, you know? Yeah, it's really exciting watching your literal world crash down around you. Uh, help! My strange and wonderful little place. God damn it! I'm only three days away from retirement. Do something! I never thought this would ever happen to me. Forget the pension. I'm quitting tomorrow. Right. Okay. We don't have air for the party, so we're gonna have to sort them out. But we're gonna have to do that next time, and then we're gonna climb the pillar, rescue Barrett. I'm sure everything will go just fine. See you then.